All right, so in this part of this experiment, I'm demonstrating uh, what I call a pose cam. And actually, this is not a name I came up with. This is um, what the animators behind uh, films like Treasure Planet uh, call this particular uh, camera workflow. Uh, so basically what I have here is um, <clears throat> in iClone, I'm using the iClone Live Link uh, I have set up, as you can see here on the upper right hand side, a, um, a sequence. So when this sequence is activated, it is controlling the Unreal Game Engine. Um, so as you can see, all the movements that are taking place inside of iClone are also happening inside of uh, Unreal Engine. And... Um, that's kind of the coolest thing about this whole process that I can control my cameras from iClone, which is a million times easier in terms of animation uh, than it is to do this within the Unreal Engine. And uh, I don't know, maybe at some point in the future, this will be easier as I learn to do this thing. But you can see how the sequence that's taking place on the um, upper right hand corner here is controlling what happens in the upper left hand corner which is inside of the Unreal Engine. Now a secondary aspect of this uh, particular rig, this particular workflow is a camera called the Pose Camera and this camera is a camera that is specifically trained to a plane or to the position where our 2D camera, uh, 2D animation will be taking place. So on the low, uh, on the lower left-hand corner here, you can see what the post camera is seeing. So at all times, this camera is facing the uh, place where our image plane is going to be, where our character is going to be performing his actions. And of course that same camera is also being projected onto the Unreal Engine so at the same time this is what the post camera looks like, looks at on the lower right hand corner here you can see um, that the post camera is always going to be looking at our 2D plane so in the next part I'm going to be exporting what the post camera is looking at and this uh, footage is going to be used as background footage inside of Crazy Talk Animator uh, and on Crazy Talk Animator I'm going to be animating my character performing his actions within this um, area here so the end result is that when I put everything together um, on the upper left hand corner that's going to be our final sequence here and you can see how the pose camera changes sizes and is animated. It's like, in this case, it's going from left to right here and it's kind of hiding behind those rocks. And uh, that's pretty much what the sequence is going to look like.